I'm telling you, this filter makes all the difference. This is not a paid advertisement. It's just me having fun in my backyard. Check this out. Whoa. <laughs> Can you see me? Oh, look at that. Turn it, turn it, okay. All right, is that better? Can you guys see me? Is it too bright? Maybe still a little bit too bright, huh? I think that's just right, right there. Boom. Oh, that looks cool right there, I think. There. I think it's, I think it's good. I have a, a screen up top. I had a habit of talking to the camera like this, looking up. <laughs> well, we're celebrating Mother's Day. Pool party, even though it's cold and we can't go into the pool because it's still cold. <laughs> well, it's not cold, it's nice. It's like 60, 60, 62 degrees. Yeah. Wanna say hi? Say hi, doggies. Hey, doggies. Hi! Hello! Hello! Oh, that was a real kiss. That was gross. Good girl. Are the chickens here? They're not here. Let's go find the chickens. Well, before I find the chickens, where are the kids? Hey! <laughs> Look at, say hi. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll open that later, okay? You have a lot of open cars already. All right? <laughs> Y'all chickens. You guys enjoying your uh, Airbnb here? Huh? Hey! You guys are already pooping all over, huh? Yeah. We love chickens. We have this uh, lab pointer. Her name is Girly. Girly girl. Hey! She, um, she's a great, great everything. Great with kids, great guard dog. It's so funny when cars pass by the front of our house, she thinks that she's chasing them off, but they're just passing by. So she'll run after the car or actually catch, catch up ahead of the car as the, the, the car is uh, passing by our house. She'll start barking at the cars and she literally feels like she just chased off a predator from the house. The problem is that when Amazon or UPS comes by to drop off a package, they're not leaving. So she's just barking and barking and barking. And we have, we've had a few instances where Amazon or the post office couldn't drop off a package, sent us a, uh, a notice like, we're not coming back. You're gonna have to pick up your, pick up your package. But uh, so we've put on Amazon, like you can put a little note there for the delivery guy or girl. I love seeing my other dog though. See, the pointer, this one, cowgirl, she's real protective, protects our animals, our, our chickens for now. We're gonna get like another seven or 10. Um, but then our other one, the brown dog, he's really like motherly, but he's a male. The other one's a female. And he is just really sweet. He just wants to have friends. 
Right, buddy? You just want to play with the hens? Yeah. And then we have this, this owl, this fake owl that repels hawks. Isn't it so eerie looking? <laughs> anyway. But yeah, this is our home. This is, this is, this is our home where the Lord has, you know, directed us. You know, years ago, we were in North Carolina, all over because of my time in the service. And then the Lord called us into ministry and, uh, and, uh, and just told us to separate from the service. And uh, it was a really challenging time but man, it, it, it was so worth it, just following his voice. Um, dreams, visions were coming, it was amazing. Um, and he was inviting us to come to know him at a more intimate level, you know? And so anyway, we, we just, um, I, was, I put in my discharge papers to be honorably discharged. And in short, we hit the mission field, went to Africa with our oldest, who was a year or so, 14 months. And um, then moved to Virginia Beach where I did seminary. And then recently we've moved out to the countryside where we feel is um, the kind of style of living that we want to raise our kids in. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. If you believe him, then you'll love forever and ever and ever. And he will love you forever and ever and ever. Hey, buddy. Can you say, Jesus? Dida. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> These are my boys. Dad, can I, can I say another thing to them? Yeah, you can say whatever you want. They love hearing you. Um, today is going to be summer next year when, I, when it's Ezra's birthday, but not today. Right. It's not summer right now because we have a lot of new cars today. <laughs> yes. We have race cars. Have race cars that we need to take care of. All right, baby. What kind of pictures do you want? This is my beautiful wife. Everybody, wish her happy Mother's Day in the comments below, please. Look at Abel. What's up, buddies? <laughs> You know, something that the Lord has, has been working in my life for some time now is the enjoyment of Jesus, just enjoying Him. I'm gonna shift over because this lawnmower, this lawnmower's still going. Well, we have, there's big properties here, so land. Okay. He's on the other side of his yard now. Um, the enjoyment of Jesus. When you're with Jesus in the secret place, you're one way and you experience him there. But outside of the secret place, you're not even enjoying your life that the Lord has given you. Um, or in the midst of challenges and trials, uh, you feel like you're alone because you're not in the secret place with him in that place, whatever that may be, the closet, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You want there to be such a unity in your walk with Jesus where you're enjoying Him and, and battling alongside of Him versus being separate from Him as a way of thinking or as a state of being. You're one with Him. So whether you're doing a holy or righteous thing or you're not, you're still with Him. And I love John Bevere's revelation from Messenger International. He writes so many books. Yeah. So he says that the fear of the Lord causes us to want to be with him. He says um, something like, when you sin, I rather do it with the Lord um, or in his presence before the Lord than away from the Lord. And he, he gets that revelation from King David's language where he says, I'd rather be in the hands of the Lord than, than hand it over to the hands of man. You know, the fear of the Lord is not wanting to live 
outside of his presence, um, whether it's a good or bad thing that you're doing. So that's something that the Lord has been really teaching me, um, cultivating in my heart, just enjoying Jesus at all moments of life, no matter what I'm doing, where I am, or if I'm not doing anything, just having a heart of gratitude. Thank you, Lord, that you're here with me. I love that you're with me. No matter what I do, you're with me. Um, and he can't separate himself what is of himself. Because we're born by, by, by spirit and by water, the Bible says. You know, baptism of water and the, the, the new birth by the Holy Spirit. So we're of him. Like the spirit that is the Lord's, the Holy Spirit is in us. And we were born of the Holy Spirit. So um, we're one with the Lord, you know. And so just enjoying him. And it takes a heart of gratitude, humility, you know, and, uh, and just enjoying his presence. And, uh, and his presence isn't necessarily just enjoying, you know, goosebumps, right? His presence is far more than just what happens in our um, on our bodies, it actually is this inner peace, a joy. It's the soul prospering. It's the bliss of His presence, the fruit of Him being here. Um, as we learn to yield to His, to His life taking place in us, His presence produces the fruit of the Spirit. Um, and for some, that's not enough. But honestly. The character of God dwelling within man is a miracle. I mean, we people, humanity, we have hard hearts. And, uh, and it's a miracle. Salvation is a miracle. Um, being a new creation is a miracle. Before any healing or eye being grown into its place or a leg or arms straightening out, I mean, it's a, the heart of a man or a woman um, being being alive in Christ, for Christ, through Christ. That's fascinating to me. You know, these are one of the reasons why the scripture is so important. You can't separate his presence from his word. Um, without the scriptures, we end up experiencing um, a, a creation that was made by our soul versus what does the word say about him and then submitting yourself to his word and the Holy Spirit begins to amplify the nature of Christ his word is really everything it's the it's the it's a it's not just the grid it's it's the kingdom and those who apply it by faith and live live by faith will see the kingdom manifest and the king manifest hey guys it's been awesome just hanging out with you you know this is um, my life and uh, this is life on life. It's, it's my life merged with your life in this moment as you're watching me right now on your phone or screen. And uh, the goal is really to just uh, impart to you, disciple you, um, Jesus, His Word, the revelation of, of Jesus. And, uh, and so if you've been blessed by this, please feel free to share it in the comments. Um, and also feel free to minister to folks in the comments as well share what the Lord has been doing in your life and share testimonies you know the other side to the comments section on on YouTube is that it it um, it enhances um, the video and it permits the video to to keep on circulating so more people can watch this encouraging content so there's a dual purpose in it but um, I want to be able to bless more you know uh, disciple more and, uh, and YouTube is just a small piece of that. And um, the Great Commission, I mean, like, what would it have looked like if the apostles had YouTube? I mean, <laughs> would have been nuts if Jesus had YouTube or Twitter. I'm sure there's, like, memes and stuff out there about it. Um, but, hey, guys, lastly, also, I want to invite you to become a Patreon. A Patreon is pretty much a supporter of our channel. It permits us to permits me to continue to make these videos, continue to take time to make content, encouraging content. Um, and so with $1 a 
five dollars, whatever it is a month, um, you can support this channel and directly be a influence to this work of making disciples of all nations. Um, so thank you so much for those who have been supporting us and this channel. Uh, we're so grateful for you. Honestly, if it weren't for you, um, taking this moment and these, these moments often would not be possible without you guys. So we love you. Happy Mother's Day to you mamas out there. You guys are supernatural beings. <laughs> and um, we love you. We honor you. We bless you. And may the joy of the Lord and the enjoyment of Jesus fill your hearts and fill your home. In Jesus' name. Take care, guys.